compounding is a magical thing and many times you know investors uh, are curious to know that how does it work in mutual fund if they are not making a promise Hello and welcome to Investors Hangout. This weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Now, over the past few weeks, we've been getting a lot of questions about compounding. What is it and does it even work in mutual funds? Because a lot of financial influencers have been floating the idea that there's no compounding benefit in mutual funds. So in today's episode we'll tell you how your investments in mutual funds can make your money work and grow. I'm sure you don't want to miss this. Compounding we keep hearing all the time and uh, it's very simple money makes money and the money that you that that has been made also starts making money the moment you have it. So it keeps getting added and uh, that is how it combines you know and it actually accumulates into something very substantial this is why einstein actually referred to uh, compounding as the eighth wonder of the world let me explain you uh, how it works with an example which is uh, if you have a lakh of rupees you make a bank deposit and you earn 10% first year you earn 10% and it becomes 1 lakh 10000 In the second year, you are earning interest on one lakh ten thousand. After you have made that eleven thousand in the second year, that will be added back to the capital, and it becomes one lakh twenty one thousand rupees. And now you will earn twelve, you know, ten percent on this. So this is how compounding works. Uh, but and it it clearly gets demonstrated in fixed income. And uh, many a times, you know, compounding is not as straightforward for an uneven cash flow. for something which uh, grows generally but uh, not as a, as a, at a specific rate and uh, not gen- generally every year so if it is less periodic if it is uneven if it is little erratic sometime it does not happen uh, then many a time people are unable to relate that you know how is it compounding but the very underlying nature of compounding is that money makes money and then the the money that has been made also starts making money Yes, that is the nature of equity because uh, you start a business, you earn, and uh, you share a part of the profits by way of dividend, and rest of the money you actually in most businesses invest in themselves, and uh, most businesses grow over over a period of time. Let me just explain you with one example. You know, we have all heard of Maruti Udyog, and I just picked up some numbers uh, to share with you. In 1997-98, it was Maruti Udyog. It was uh, 50% owned by government of india 50% owned by suzuki sold 3 and a half lakh cars in 2021 it sold 16 and a half lakh so you know this is the growth that you see 3 and a half lakh to 16 lakh how much was the worth of those cars then 8478 crore today it is worth 83800 crore so you see the 10 times growth during this period and its profit grew from you know 651 crore to 3776 crore so this is compounding because company kept making you know kept kept making cars different kind of cars improved cars people liked it and it kept growing its business made profit reinvested made more you know uh, set up more plants more more bra- more brands more dis- greater distribution and then it became a bigger com- a bigger company sells more and this is the compounding this is the compounding which we have seen in the last 25 30 years the company started in 1985 from nowhere on ground zero from somebody's garage and today it has become the largest passenger car manufacturer in india so this is compounding gradual growth and that is the nature of the business that is the nature of uh, any business which is into producing or you know delivering goods and services to grow and make profit reinvestment of those profits so that is it may not you know the growth of maruti udyog from to maruti suzuki may not have happened in a very nice linear fashion like a public provident fund uh, interest income where you earned 8% or 7.5% and year after year and the capital got added let me just explain you the erratic nature of the equity compared to 
uh, the guaranteed return something like public provident fund if anybody would have started with uh, 10000 rupees annual investment in ppf so he would have invested 4 and a half lakh rupees so 45 years and you would have invested 4 and a half lakh rupees in ppf this would have grown to you know something like 72.77 lakh nearly 73 lakh which tra translates into some you know about 10% annualized return because earlier years ppf return used to be higher if you would have done the same thing in sensex which has existed since 1979 and the base was 100 and uh, you would have invested the same 10000 rupees every year aggregating 4 and a half lakh rupees it will be worth 3.11 crore 3.11 crore translates into a annualized return a compounded annual growth rate of 14 and a half percent 14.56 percent so this is significant and why it happens in equity simply because uh, they reflect you know the real economy uh, and it would have come with all kind of risk the money invested in sensex that, that 10000 rupees every year uh, sensex has witnessed you know corporate mortality many companies died in these 40 years hindustan motor was a sensex constituent many companies which existed as part of sensex they don't exist anymore they died on the way and uh, despite that despite those companies dying despite those companies tanking some of the companies going bankrupt some some of the companies getting doing so poorly even though they exist but they have actually lost investors money uh, the diversification worked in case of sensex you know we have these uh, sizable companies getting out of it getting ejected out of sensex or dying uh, after getting ejected despite that it translates into a 14 and a half percent uh, annualized return so this is the magic of equity coupled with magic of compounding compounding in mutual fund in case of fixed income fund it compounds somewhat like a deposit but without the guarantee but in case of equity fund you have this underlying you know nature of the underlying asset which is reflected here the example which i was referring that you invested 10000 rupees every year in sensex since 1979 and it will be worth you know 3.11 crore that will translate into something like 14 and a half percent annualized return so you can consider sensex as a, as a mutual fund which is diversified which is uh, which is facing you know all kind of mortality all kind of risk all kind of ups and downs and uh, many a times it would have gone down in value by 20 percent 30 percent in a quarter or in a year despite all the ups and downs it translates into you know it gives such a superior return because the underlying is the same the nature of a company to grow earning more than what uh, more than inflation being able to adjust the you know the goods and services with it in pegged to inflation uh, to have the pricing power so all these things get reflected in the uh, the nature of equity returns and uh, so it will not be precise it will not be like seven and a half percent every year compounded quarterly but uh, the nature of equity is that it grows it grows over time and if you remain invested it compounds The simplest way to maximize the benefit of compounding is have a long term time frame because the magic let the magic work because the money makes money or the company grows and let it grow further. Uh, then comes, you know, making sure that you are adequately diversified, because if you try and do this uh, magic with a very narrow universe, one or two of them, uh, you will be exposed to greater risk. So be well diversified and uh, don't get scared have the belief because many a times the, your, the, the biggest disruption to compounding is when you are scared out of the market, when you pull out of equity. So uh, when you are faced with that grim situation that look, it looks like uh, there will never be a brighter day, the market has stand and everybody is scared and you think that you, know, you have lost money which you will never recover. I think uh, have, gaining that perspective that it's a fairly routine thing in the market and uh, rewards come your way only if you are able to withstand that. And that's all we have for you in today's episode. And if you already haven't started investing, start today and see the magic of compounding grow your investments. Keep watching this space for more information. 
If you like the show, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye for now.